How's everybody doing? I am going to make a tutorial on how to config OpenWRT as an access point. Other people call them a dumb router. A lot of times if you get a uh, cable modem or a D, uh, DSL modem, wireless modem, a lot of times they have an internal antenna and the wireless is not that good. And to fix this problem is to set up an access point to give you better wireless signal to cover more area. Uh, the access point is wired. You use a Cat5, and you go from your your modem, and you plug it into your access point. And the only thing it does is send internet, receive internet. Uh, a lot of people call them a dumb router. You can also use the LANs to hook up other computers. Wired. But the main reason you set up an access point is for wireless, to enhance your wireless network. All right, let's get started. And the default address is 192.168.1.1. I'm not bothered going to put in a uh, password. I'm just going to config it, and this this is a pretty easy straightforward is not very hard first thing you do is go to network and you delete the WAN and you also delete this WAN 6 and that just leaves the LAN you go to the edit Okay, you leave it on static address. Right here on the uh, IPv4, you can just put anything you want. I'm just going to leave it 192.168.1.1. This is the address you use to log in to your access point. The router that's got this address, this is the address you're going to use to log into it. And this right here is the uh, subnet, subnet mask. Now the main thing you got to do to, to create access point is you turn off the DHCP server. This is what hands out your IP to all of your clients, the ones that's going to be connecting to your, your uh, access point. But it's not going to be given an IP. Your main router it's going to be handing out. Your main router is going to be working your PPOE sessions, your NAT, your firewall, and your QoS, quality of service. It's going to be doing all that. You know, it's going to be taking care of all of that. And the only thing your access point is going to be doing is just being an access. Or other people, like I believe I said before, a dumb router. You turn off your DHCP server, click save and apply, and that's about all you need to do on this. Fence settings, you don't change nothing on it. Physical settings, you leave all that alone. Firewall is already set. Okay, let's go to Wi-Fi. First thing you do on Wi-Fi is you enable it. Okay, then you go to edit. And right here is whatever channel you want. I'm going to pick channel 8. And 30... Uh, DBM that's a thousand milliwatts that's that's a little high I usually like to set it around 22 around 158 milliwatt 
And this right here is going to be what is transmitted. This is when when they log on to your access point. This is what they're going to be looking for you for your ESSID and lead the mode access point. Well, that's what you want. Access point. And this right here, if you want, if for some reason you want the uh, ESSID hid, then you check that. But you know, I don't. You know. Go ahead and click save and apply. All right. Now, this right here is the wireless security. And if you don't want no wireless security, just leave it no encryption. But then anybody and their brother can log on to your wireless network and that wouldn't be good. There's a drop down window, you, whatever you want to pick, WPA, PSK, WPA2 or mixed and just click on to it and then you put the key in here. And all your other clients, all the other people logging on to this access point, they've got to have that key before it'll let them on where it commute where it'll start communicating. Me, I'm just going to leave it no encryption right right now just because I, I'm just showing you how it's done. Save and apply. Okay. And that was pretty much it. And that's pretty much it. Alright, that looks good. That's, that's, that's all we need to do. Okay. Now let's see if it'll work. I'm going to go ahead and reboot this router. I'm going to reboot it. I'm in the process of rebooting it right now. Let's see what IP it gave it. Oh, it doesn't clear the IP out. Oh. Okay, it's looking for one now. Okay, that was it. It's the main router has already gave it an IP just that quick. That's the uh, IP for my main router, 192.168.0.2, and it gave it 192.168.0.244. Now let's see if we got any internet. And there it is. We have now got a access point configured. Other people call it a dumb router. And it's functioning and it's working good. And if you want to set up an access point with open WRT, that's all you got to do. It's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure anybody can figure it out. It's very simple. And that's all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all learned from it. And bye-bye.